Hello children. Uh, so today as our maths lesson, we will learn how to identify the numbers divisible by 4. If you can remember last day, we learned how to identify the numbers divisible by 6. Ne? And I gave you a small homework also. So today we will learn how to identify the numbers divisible by 4 without dividing. Right, without dividing. Actually, it's easy. You just need to look at the last two digits in any number. That's all. Right, if the last two digits are divisible by 4, then that whole number is also divisible by 4. That's all. Now, as my first example, I have taken a number which has only two digits. So what, what should we do there? We have only two digits. So what to do? You check whether both the digits are divisible by 4. The whole number, 48. Sometimes you may not know all the multiples of 4. So at that time, you can simply divide and check. But here it's clear that 4 and 8 both are divisible by 4. So this whole number is also divisible by 4. Let's take the next example. 722. Look at the last two digits. 22. Is this 22 divisible by 4? Is it a multiple of 4? In multiplication table, can you see 22 in 4 times table? No, right? If you are not sure, you divide it and check. Last two digits only. Yeah? Don't take the whole number. You no need to divide the whole number. You take the last two digits. 22. 4 times 5 is 20. When you subtract, 2 is coming as the remainder. There is a remainder here. That means 22 is not divisible by 4. That means the whole number is also not divisible by 4. You write it in your words, okay? Divisible. Next example. 5612. The last two digits, 12. Is 12, the number 12, divisible by 4? Yes, it's a multiple of 4. If 12 is divisible by 4, if the last two digits are divisible by 4, the whole number is also divisible by 4. If you are not sure, if you still can't remember the multiplication table, you take this 12 to a side and divide by 4. Okay. The next example, 2756. The last two digits. 56. Is it divisible by 4? Yes. If you are not sure, take it to a side and divide by 4. 4 times 1, 4. 1 is remaining. Bring the next number down. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 4, 16. No remainder. That means 56 is divisible by 4. It means the whole number is also divisible by 4. Next example. We have only two zeros. Yes, this whole number is divisible by 4. You remember if both the last two digits became 0, then that whole number is also divisible by 4. I'll show it like this. You take double zeros, you divide it by 4. 4 times 0, 0. Ne? Ne? So, no remainder. Hmm. Uh, this division is not needed. I just wanted to show you that when you divide zeros by 4, once is 0, no remainder is also coming. Okay. So, you remember, when both the last two digits became 0, the whole number is also divisible. Divisible by 4. Let's see the next example. 5604. We have 0, 4 as the last two digits. 0, 4 means 4. 4 is divisible by 4. So, the whole number is also divisible by 4. Next, 700. Uh, as earlier, 
we have two zeros here. So it's also divisible by four. 700 is divisible by four. So children, this is a very easy method. So I hope that you understood this. So please, uh, you copy this as the subtopic numbers divisible by four. That's the subtopic. You write this sentence also. And after that, you can copy these few examples with the answer. And there you underline the last two digits. When you have underlined the last two digits, the teacher who is checking your paper knows that you know the way to identify the numbers divisible by four. OK, this division is not compulsory, but if you need, you can show the division, right? So please copy these few examples. After that, in your textbook, in your textbook, in page number 33, in page number 33, there is a small activity, activity number four. You can complete that table. You have to copy down it. You copy the table and try to complete it, okay? Uh, they have asked the, as the first, I'll help you in the first example. Is the ones place digit divisible by four? That means they're asking about ones place digit six. Is it divisible by four? No, actually the last digit is not needed here. They just wanted to show you that, okay? Not by the last digit, by both the last two digits we decide it. So you answer the questions asked by the last di digit, not divisible by four. Is the number formed by the last two digits divisible by four? That means you need to consider both the digits. 36, you write whether it's divisible by four or not. Then is the number divisible by four means the whole number. The whole number is divisible by four. So, after looking at the last two digits, you can decide whether the number is divisible by four. If any number is divisible by four, that four, four is a factor of that particular number, okay? Four is a factor of that particular number. So, they have asked, is four a factor? If any number is divisible by four, four is a factor of that number. If not divisible by 4, that 4 is not a factor of that particular number, right? So I have explained about these factors also uh, on one day. So hope that you can complete this table, right? Only the table. Thereafter, in exercise 4.2, first question, Roman number 2 which are divisible by four. You have to copy all the numbers, underline and show the last two digits so that the teacher who is checking your book knows that you know the way. So underline the last two digits and opposite it. You write whether it's divisible by four or not. Okay, only that much you need to do. First question, Roman number two, because I gave you Roman number one to do as a homework. Okay, children, that's all for today.